Hi folks. Today we are at the Rothenbuehler Cheesemakers Factory and retail store. The factory we can't go into, but we can go to the retail store. Uh, let's see if I can get the... It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. Luke 4.4 4. And now we're going to go up to the store. And there's a nice ramp, which is very wide, so it's very handicapped accessible. They want everybody's money. <laughs> so it is, though, a really good... You're going to find this place neat. And they got really good cheese. Now, this is uh, in Middlefield, Geauga County, and there's a neat painting, and once you're entering, you got another cool painting, and then uh, you can get back a little bit. Hi. I, Are you Kathy? Okay, just let me let me turn this. Okay, so this was hand carved in Switzerland of Linwood. The farmer that is shown carrying wheels of Swiss cheese to the market, an original work of art. And then they have some other little boy and girl. Again, all these statues are hand carved in Switzerland. And this video that's new. And hopefully it's not hopefully it's not copyrighted music. So then we have what do you call these type things, babe? What? Like a panorama yeah. or and these are Hand carved fig figurines made in Switzerland. Hans and Anne Rothenbuehler and their grandchildren. 2001 is when they got this. And then there's, um, they do make sandwiches and stuff and little tables for you to sit at. And there's a chair for me so I can get up easily. Yeah, it's a gliding chair, rocker. This is Traveler is set for the day now. And then we have uh, different pictures and uh, old fashioned popcorn maker that's probably new. We actually have one of those at our church. But they have different pictures of the Rothenbuehlers. Does it say what this circle is? Antique wooden cheese hoop. Well, the, I think the wooden thing is the cheese hoop. And a curling room. And then they probably... It was used to form Swiss cheese. More pictures. So as you can see, there's a lot of neat and interesting things. There's an antique cheese harp purchased in Wisconsin and used by Hans and Ann Rothenbuehler when they first started in business. This tool was used to cut thickened milk into curds. The wires are actually spaced to exact cutting. I'll get back a little bit. So you can... And Mrs. Traveler is talking about cutting cheese now. Hopefully they don't throw us out. Of, you know. And here's an antique cream separator. And then we have 
middle field cheese, which actually, originally this was called the middle field cheese factory. And it says scale model. And middle field is, um, now here's another fella carrying the cheese. Ah, middle field is in Amish country. So we got the, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this whole thing in here or not. Yeah, but you have the Amish buggy and then the statue of the horse following, or not the horse is not following the buggy, the horse is pulling the buggy. Yeah, well, I got you on video. Um, so. Uh, you want me to? Huh? No, I was going to say, you take this and I'll sit on it. Okay. Sit on. Uh oh, we're in trouble now. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Traveler was being nice to Mr. Traveler and showing the horse instead of me struggling to get out of the seat. So, yeah. And you can sit in the benches and watch the video. It's a historical video. I don't remember them having that before, so that's cool. And then we got coming into the store. You have the another picture of a cheese fella. And then it looks like some kinds of awards that they've received. Uh, two, 2017 United States Champion Cheese Contest. They got the blue ribbons. which 2011 <laughs> they got their special board you want to grab a and then we're coming in here is it right in there they got little kitty bugs so now, here's some of the cheese, which I think, which is it we want? They have baby eye Swiss, regular Swiss, lacy Swiss, which we won't be buying. Why don't well, we try it? Our, our reserve is on special. And then we have cheddars and Munster, bacon cheese, blueberry cake. This is found some blueberry cheddar. You want it? I'm getting the bacon. She's getting the blueberry. Then we got, you know, they have some modern day stuff. Well, the cheese is modern too. It's not like that's antique. We wouldn't be eating it if it was. They got fudge. This is the area that the travelers can't buy anything in. Some uh, Pringle corn. 
you find mustard? Extra hot mustard. There you go, huh? Mm -hmm. Ear mustard. Whole grain mustard. I've never even heard of that. Yep, they just spicy curry mustard. And then they have also a bunch of different types of barbecue sauce and spices here. Crazy days. Sweet hot mustard. Lots of mustard. Extra hot horseradish. Ooh, extra hot horseradish. This is Traveler's debating about that. Mr. Traveler doesn't do hot. Yeah, I don't do mustard either. I'm a plain old guy. Bunch of spices and some different like spices that you don't necessarily see in the store, like um, rowdy kitty rub, turbo. We got rowdy kitty rub. <laughs> What's in that? that Lively seasoning for chicken, beef, and quarter. They got spicy farm dust. Just regular farm dust seasoning. Wawa Chihuahua. Oh, Wawa Chihuahua. <laughs> Just because of the sounds, awesome we might have to try rub. Awesome antler rub. Yeah. Pour out feather dust. This stuff might be good. Bag stuffers. Yeah. Black dog belly rub. <laughs> uh, black dog belly rub. Of course, the German Shepherd isn't black. Sweet shake. Galloping grenade shake. Oh, I wonder. And red What's dog rub. <laughs> Ura. Oh wait, your name's Devil Dog, not Red. But, yeah, I'm thinking but for a, yeah, for, for us. well, we get bags, we don't have stop, stockings anymore, but we might get some of those for, to be bag stuffers, then they got different types of, is that oil or vinegar? Okay, they got Big infused raspberry blush, all kinds of different vinegars. Here we got more candy. Yeah, I'm thinking we're gonna have to look better at that stuff. Ooh, maple walnut granola. And they got syrups and pancake mixes. Here's local made honey. At least they think they used to. Oh, uh, that's in Mantua, Ohio, which I'm not totally sure where Mantua is. They used to have some made in Burton. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's which Burton is a town right over. Um, as I said, Middlefield is in. Um, Amish country. It's about. I got some ice cream stuff. Premium pie crust. In the freezer area. It's probably this little little crust that you can make pies out of. Anyhow, it's oh, about half hour to 40 minutes from I-90, and so oh, probably the same for 422, which is on the south, 90s north of here. You got your 
port wine, cheese, spread, sharp cheddar, ghost pepper, Monterey Jack. I know some of y'all would like that stuff. Carolina Reaper cheddar, scorpion cheddar. I know that there's, because I watch you guys eating all your peppers, so. There's a slab of Canadian bacon. How much? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Yeah, that looks good. I don't think we're getting it. So, and then they also have uh, breads, popcorn, and then they have uh, lunch meat and cheese that you can order by the pound and get it and then they have another freezer section with gourmet cheeses uh, blueberry cinnamon garlic and herbs they got mild cheddar and a football there's a Wow, cheddar and a cow. Then they got the uh, cheese bits, which are really good for snacking on. And then over here, they got where you can try the cheese. Did you see this, Honey Bunch? They, we, they have the RR Reserve so that you can actually try it. Hmm? Yeah. We getting it? Um, I don't. Okay. Let's try not to. These are so, I'll see you in a bit. We're going to do some shopping and some taste testing. In shopping, I found some stuff that I didn't notice before. They actually have um, different soaps and shampoos. Honey and oat exfoliating soap. This is for you ladies here. We got essential tea tree acne fighting. And I, oh, I dropped my cane and I dropped totally hip hemp lemongrass. And I got like uh, hand cream. Lavender soap, grapefruit soap, oh boy, oh boy, oh. So I just wanted to show you all that stuff too. We'll come back here. Okay, folks, we're done getting all our goodies, which we might make a video at home of us trying some of the stuff. But anyhow, um, if you all would like that, let us know. I'm going to sign off in here. I want you all to remember if you have to use a cane, walker, wheelchair, whatever kind of device you need to help you make your life easier and live better and be able to do the things you want to do and get out. It's not making you handicapped. It's making you handy capable. Thank you all for joining us. If you like the video, give it me a thumbs up. Subscribe, hit that bell, share it out. And also down below will be a link to buy Mrs. Traveler a coffee if you would care to do so. It would help us with our expenses. And I just thank you so much for joining us. You all have a great day and God bless.
Hi folks, I just wanted to make a quick addendum to this video to let you know we've already gotten into the cheese and it's delicious and um, to let you know how friendly and wonderful they were. The lady, presuming she's probably the manager named Kathy, she was great and greeted us. And I'm going to put the link to their company down below and also just to let you know that if you're in the area or you want to come to a come up to this area it's worth it there's a lot of other things to see so give them a a visit and you won't regret it have a good day again god bless